Hello, hello. It's a very lovely morning here, so I'm itching to get out in the garden, but I, I really did want to get this video done and get this kit released because um, it's been a long time coming. Um, it's it's not anything, it's not a major kit at all. It's quite a small kit actually, but um, I made I made myself some backgrounds because I wanted to do um, kind of work in bulk and I wanted to start off with some backgrounds. So I made myself a background um, for this particular tag, which I posted on Instagram. And you can probably, obviously, if you remember the um, post on Instagram, you'll know how long this kit has been done and been sitting waiting to um, for me to do something with it. Um, so basically, I made I made the background for this, and then there were other backgrounds I wanted. So I've made a few other backgrounds, and I thought, well, actually, other people might appreciate these. So I, I, I made it into kind of a mini kit, if you like. Um, so these were the original tags with the original first background that I made. Um, I then went ahead and made some other backgrounds and I went ahead and um, created a kind of complete digital version of this that you could use for tags or for other things. So I'm going to show you the kit now, I think. I think that's what I'll do. I'll show you the kit next. So there are there's a background which is just a background then there is kind of a complete um kit or um, uh, tag base almost and then these are the other elements that i kind of wanted so i've made one which is kind of almost fully complete and then others that are you're able to edit further and again um, the other thing was I created some paintbrush, uh, Photoshop brush kits and a few people contacted me and said, um, I really like the images, but I can't use them. So could you put them in a kit? So I've actually done that with these. So these are some of the images in my Photoshop um, tool kit. So I've made those and then there's a more plain, plain version um, a little strip that could be used as a belly band or various other things. So it's kind of a a kit for, you could use it in lots of different ways. I've got a few ideas and things that I, I would like to do with it. And I'll show you a couple of things I've done already. So um, what have I got? This is a kit, this is a tag using the planar background with then stamps. So we're going to do one of those. And this is a tag which is pretty much already done for you, which we will do one of those. And then I have some that I've done completely from scratch. So we're going to make some of those as well. So I'm going to show you how quick and easy it is to use the kit. Right, so let's start with the easiest, the easiest one. So this is just the images from the kit cut out. I've mounted them onto a cardstock. So all we're going to do is I've got my little corner corner cutter. So I'm going to just cut off those corners to make it my tag shape. Oops. And I always use the same edge uh, when I'm I'm doing this because I've got them at different angles. This just happens to be my favourite angle to cut my corners. And this credit card idea, or um, in, in this case, Prime Video card, <laughs> um, this came from Gail quite a while ago, but it's one of those genius, genius ideas that you kind of use forever once you've seen it right. So in the kit, I mean, originally I used labels from other kits, but what I've done is I've just changed them, the tones. They're the same label as in some of the other kits, but they are smaller and I've changed the tones to kind of match, match in with these. So I'm just going to pick a couple of labels to work with this. Let's go for that one. Okay, so now it's time to do a bit of inking. And it's not too early. We've been up, been up a long time this morning, but it's got a very early morning feel to it because there's no traffic. <laughs> I think it does feel really. I mean, it's nine o'clock, but it's kind of had this this feeling like it's 
six o'clock in the morning most of the day at the moment because of, of the lack of traffic. I'm actually going to miss the quiet, I think. So that's that. Did I? Can't remember if I inked this little label here. I'm just going to do the edge. Okay. Grab my art glitter glue. And there are lots of things that you can do on top of these as well. If you wanted, you can add lace and, and buttons like you could any other tag and kit, of course. I can um, I can sew around these later. I don't have to sew them all now. Um, but I have got some really cool cotton I'd like to show you later. I've had it for so long and I've only just started to use it. Okay, so there you go. That's two tags. Very, very simple. All you've got to do is cut them out. So that's the, that's the easiest version. Um, next, we have this one, obviously, with the... Um, the patterned backgrounds. So I'm going to do the same again. I'm going to cut the corners and make them my tag shape. I don't know why I've been, it's not nervous as such, but uh, I think it's because, I mean, I've known exactly what I'm going to do. It wasn't, it wasn't as though I needed to you know try something out because i've done it i've done this we've done i've done it so i know it's going to work it's just it's been i don't know just difficult to get myself motivated to do the video okay so the first thing i'm using is um this this set okay um obviously you can use any any stamps that you have I'm just going to grab um, this is uh, vintage sepia and this is one of the inks that I got from Mackie stamps so I'm going to use I'm going to use this because it's a really nice kind of rich brown even though um, the vintage photo would look just as good And of course you can put these, they can be any colour. You don't have to, you don't have to go for browns and neutrals. It just seems to have been how this kit turned out. <laughs> it's very neutral. I will clean all of these at the end. Mm. They've been quite heavily used recently, these, these stamps. But I just I like the fact that it speeds things up when you're making bulk, when you're doing lots and lots of things or lots of journals and you want them similar. So they already look pretty cool. I really like them. So that's that one. Um, and then I'm going to use um, this particular kit, which is Flutter. Which are the butterflies? And again, any any butterfly stamp or insect stamp bugs would be just as good. So you can put the butterfly on. Sort my stamp. Okay, so that's that done. And then my labels. So ink these because I'm going to glue them. I just feel very chilled out this morning. So just want to say actually happy birthday for yesterday to Vicky. I hope you had a lovely day. So 
so this is, I mean, this background, you could use so much. You could do so much on these backgrounds. I'm actually going to use them as a cover for a little file folder. <clears throat> Next. Okay, so that's that one. There we go. So that's the second one. What did I do with the first one? There. So you can see how similar they are, but these ones are complete, almost completely digital, and these ones are stamped. So that's the second one. Um, now, what I should have done at the very beginning is start off the completely one, the ones made from scratch, because they actually take a little while to dry. So. I should have done that first. What I've done is I've just cut out a piece of um, ivory cardstock. That's exactly the same size. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> That's exactly the same size as these. So I can tell you what that is. Um, these are 18 centimetres by eight and a half centimetres. Okay. So they are exactly the same size as the tags, the digital ones. Um, and now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to do the start of a kind of um, the ink splotch background. So I'm going to take, I've got vintage photo and I'm going to put that on my board here. Quite, quite a bit of it, as you can see. And this one is walnut stain. And I'm going to put that on my board over here. Okay, I'm just going to take my water and give that a spray. Okay, so all I'm going to do is take my cards and just dunk them here and there into the two inks. Okay, that one I'm going to leave as that for a moment. Okay, so that's number two. Um, what I did on the others is um, I kind of let this dry and then I actually did another another go um, with the inks. Um, but what I did was um, I made them a little bit stronger. So I put less water in, less ink, less water. Um, so I got a kind of a more mix pattern. But these ones are pretty good. And what I like about this is for some reason I get this kind of yellow yellow mix going on um, and a couple of other things I did um, I shouldn't have shouldn't have uh, wiped all of that up but the walnut stain the darker one I'm just going to put a little bit of that on again and like I said a little bit less water this time and I've got a piece of scrunchie just popped onto um, a paper clip. I don't, you don't get too much with this, but you will get kind of a little bit of darker splodges, a few more darker splodges even. See now I'd, I'd let this dry last time, so they were a little bit more, <laughs> um, the pattern was a little bit more different. There we go. So it kind of gives you a, an almost paintbrush kind of look. Okay, that will be 
fine. And then the other thing is a little Q-tip. I'm just going to pull the edge of that a little bit. Put a couple of little dots on here. This is just quite fun on its own. It's very relaxing. <laughs> okay. Um, feels a bit plain here. So I'm actually going to just dip that in that ink a little bit more. Oh, that's quite nice quite like that okay so i'm gonna let these dry and i'll be right back okay i just wanted to there was one more thing that i actually wanted to do that i forgot and that's to actually pop on some little little flicks of ink so i'm gonna go back with my walnut stain like that put some on there a little bit of water And I'm using a really old paintbrush that I use for different art. I really like the way this looks. You can use paintbrush, but you need a fairly stiff paintbrush to do this. Have a little bit more ink there. I'm gonna actually add the water into that. some of that ink I mean you can really go to town you can you could use acrylics for all of this if you wanted to or watercolor it doesn't have to be ink I just forgot about this section this little element that I wanted to add I wasted a lot of ink doing that I should have done it in one go mm -hmm. Okay, right, so now I am actually going to let this dry. You can just about make out the flicks of, of the ink there. I really like these. I really do like these backgrounds. Okay. So they're not perfectly dry, but we're gonna we're gonna move on. So I have two um script stamps it again it doesn't really matter this is a background so for for this i want it a little bit lighter so i'm not using that vintage sepia i'm going to use raw sienna for this so i, I want it to keep it fairly random and i don't want to press too hard so i'm just going to grab my stamp and i'm going to pop a little bit of text in a couple of places on that one and again on that one okay so that's that finished with and I'm just going to do uh, this one these are both again Tim Holtz stamps and I'm going to go here and there okay so you can see it's quite subtle fairly similar to our digital background. Okay, so that's that. These are very, very simple, very straightforward. And now I'm gonna just go back to, I'm gonna grab some of these stamps and I'm gonna go back to that vintage sepia. can't find my bigger 
my bigger block. I have no idea where that's disappeared to. It's gone somewhere. I um, obviously, like many of us have, organised, sorted, rearranged, moved about and lost stuff in the process. And this one I'm going to do two, I think. Okay, and I think I'm just going to add something else to that one because that's a little bit plain. There we go. I'm still catching up on my YouTube videos. I'm so far behind because I spent so long in the garden and not at my desk. Okay, now, butterflies. It is very repetitive, so I do apologise, but I just wanted to show that you can get exactly the same effect without using digital kits. And I do really love this kind of natural tone. You can probably tell most of my stuff is actually beige, Beige and brown probably says something about me as a person. I'm sure a lot of people think so. I mean, you could just as easily do these with colour um, inks. I think I've done something fairly similar in the past with the, um, with the orange and green and blue um, archival inks. So you could... You could you could absolutely do that. And obviously, I have to still put a label on. And I know the label is not going to be um, made from scratch. But it, labels, you can make them, can't you? So there's lots of options if you don't have, if you don't have um, a label kit at all. Okay, so back to the good old vintage photo. I mean, they are very quick, even to make them from scratch. But obviously the digital kit just speeds things up if you're making a, a bulk amount of, of something. And then I'll show you a couple of things that I've made with, with other parts of the kit. So I'm gonna put that in this corner over those flowers on that one. I mean, there's two chains of thought, I suppose, because, you know, some people won't have stamps. So the digital kit is perfect if you don't have stamps and some people may not have a printer. So the handmade version is perfect for those people. It's just trying to trying to make sure everyone can, you know, access what we're doing so they're the complete ones from from completely from scratch and then these are the ones with um, the digital background and then stamped and then these are the ones that are completely digital so if we put one of each you know they are very similar aren't they these are obviously a different color um to this one because this was an ivory cardstock but um, it, your printer is going to change how things look as well. So that was that's that. That's that's just what I wanted to come and show you before I put the the kit in the in the shop. I wanted to show you some options. Now, obviously, I'm just going to sew round and add my eyelet. And I don't know if you'll be able to see on film on the camera, but this is it's this one is all greens, but it's all different greens. So the th the thread color changes as it goes through and I've bought a few different um, versions of that thread uh, this one is a really bright colored I'm just going to show you this little roll I made 
the other day but this is all really bright colors i love it and there was another one as well which i can't remember what the mix of that was but again it was lots i think it was lots of blues so they're really fun um cottons now um just very quickly i'll show you a couple of other things i have done with the kit so first of all these ones that i've literally just um, I've done a really little bit of stamping on and sewn around and they are mounted. So that's one. Uh, these ones, I have again done the background stamps and these have got little insects on them. So I've made those. And then these ones are the larger ones, which again, actually, I think I might have done this before when I just, when I'd, when I had literally, um, all I had done is made the background and on in the kit I've actually embellished it already but these are ones that I made from scratch and you could absolutely do this without without the digital kit um, you could just cut the shape out it's kind of a it's supposed to be a flashcard um, a decorated flashcard so you could actually use a real flashcard just stamp it up and pop your little um, tab on but um yeah it's they're nice and easy and fairly quick to do so i just wanted to share that with you before i put the kit in the shop um i'll be around for for another quick create soon so um i will see you later bye <laughs>